Hey guys, Leslie here. We are out at Cloud Land Canyon today. I hope your summer has been getting better and better. So today, let's talk kingdoms, specifically the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. There's, are these two different places? Are they the same? Let's find out. So in Matthew, we read the phrase kingdom of heaven Matthew uses this phrase 32 times in 31 different verses, but nowhere does Matthew use the phrase kingdom of God, while Mark used the phrase kingdom of God 15 times in 15 verses. What's the difference? Well, we aren't the first ones to ask. Scholars have studied and discussed the different applications and meanings of these two phrases. Some suggest that the kingdom of heaven is the eternal kingdom located in heaven itself, while the kingdom of God is the earthly kingdom of the Christ Jesus, the Messiah. So let's look ourselves. Matthew and Mark would often record similar events. So let's look at Matthew 4:17. From the time on Jesus began to preach, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near and in mark 1 15 the time has come he said the kingdom of god has come near repent and believe the good news so very similar but different just the same as if i was making notes from a speaker and you were making notes of the same speaker at the same time different points would impact us more and while making notes we may say the same thing in slightly different words that helps ourselves understand it better so we know jesus was not speaking of two different places because these two lines are from the exact same sermon in the exact same spot so why the difference well the main difference is who the Spirit of God is leading Matthew to minister to and who the Spirit of God is leading Mark to minister to. Matthew was called to minister to the Jewish population through his writings. So scholars believe that Matthew did not use the phrase kingdom of God to align with the very real Jewish fear of taking God's name in vain. So Matthew used the kingdom of heaven for the eternal principles making up God's kingdom both on earth and in heaven. The kingdom of heaven is opposed to the kingdom of man on earth, and the kingdom of God is the opposing force to the kingdom of Satan and his demonic hordes creating sin, death, disease, misery for mankind. So both terms refer to the same kingdom that awesome kingdom where Christ is both priest and king. This awesome kingdom that flows God's love and healing throughout the earth, bringing deliverance and healing to humankind and the blessings of heaven on earth. Pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your many blessings. Just thank you so much for all you do. Thank you so much for all your beautiful creation. Thank you so much that we are just so blessed to have the opportunity to walk in your creation, to breathe in your creation, to just live in this beautiful creation of yours. You and who you are, your character, your signatures, everywhere around us, dear Lord. And I'm so thankful for that. I pray that you be with everyone who's watching us today. I just pray that you be with everyone this week. We love you, Lord, and I just praise your name. Amen. So every time we film on a special location at the end of the video, I enjoy kind of showing you a little bit more. Right now we are at the main overlook at Cloudland Canyon State Park. And I'm gonna just try to move the video around just a little bit here. So you can see some of the beauty of this outline. Just look at that absolutely gorgeous well thank you everyone for joining us this week may god's face shine upon you and your loved ones hope you have a great week and we'll see you next week